YouTube this is Betty and welcome back to my channel I am here to share the cards I created for the Christmas all year collab that I'm hosting I have some other ladies that are playing along with me in this collaboration I will have links in the description box below to their YouTube channels so you guys can run over and check out their projects and see what they've created Let's get started um, this collaboration is a year-long collaboration we will be coming on every second Sunday of the month and at 10 a.m. Um, Central Standard Time. I know today is Monday. I had a family emergency. I couldn't come on yesterday. Um, so I'm here today. If you want to play along in this collaboration, you may do so by uploading your project and use the hashtag that you see in the screen. I would love to see what you've created and it will be an opportunity for you to get a jump start on your Christmas crafting. All right, so I'm not gonna hold you guys too long. Happy MLK Day. Um, some of you I know may be off from work today. I was lucky enough to be off from work and you know, just enjoying some, some crafting. All right, you guys, let's get started and let me share with you uh, some of the products that I use. I use this bow die. Um, I picked this up uh, from AliExpress. I use this um, new embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder by Sizzix. You guys, it is so pretty. I absolutely love it. Folk art pattern. Really cute. I also pulled out some old um, stamp sets in my stash. This is by Recollection. And I use the Sweet Christmas Wishes and the Candy Cane stamp. I also pulled out this stamp set. Um, this is by Brenda Walton, and I use um, the Magic of Christmas stamp there at the bottom. I pulled out my A2 Madden Basics A. I decided to create some A2 size cards. I usually do five by seven, but I wanted to change things up and do uh, a smaller scale card. I pulled out this embossing folder by Sizzix, and this is called um, Candy Cane Stripes. This is a new die set by Honeybee Stamps. This is the layered candy cane. I really wanted to play with this die set and I didn't get a chance to do it um, during the holidays. So that's another reason why I decided to do this collaboration to be able to, you know, play with all these goodies I've picked up. I pulled out my Anna Griffin um, four and a quarter by five and a half card um, base die. And here is the first card I created using that Honeybee Stamps candy cane. It is so cute. That is such a cute die. I absolutely love it. I decided to go with some non-traditional um, Christmas colors um, just to do something um, different. I kept this very, very clean and simple. And I'm trying to do more um, clean and simple cards. Um, you can see the embossing that I have in the background of the candy cane stripe. And yeah, it's just really pretty. I love the colors uh, for this card. And here's the inside of the card. You can see um, the sentiment that I stamped in there. And I decided to use that um, A2 Manning Basics die and I created a frame just to give the inside a little something. Kind of help that stamping out a bit. And that's, um, you know, what I did in there. Kept it very simple. And here's the back. And then here's the second card using the bow um, die that I shared. Look at the embossing folder. That is so pretty. It looks like a, you know, like a folk art sweater. It is so pretty. I love that embossing folder, you guys. So that may be one you want to pick up. This bow die is um, also really pretty. I decided to do a two-tone color bow, you know, with the different colors. Um, just to give it a little bit interest there. And so I didn't put anything else because I didn't want to cover up the embossing. I was going to put like a word die or something on there, but I just didn't want to cover up the embossing folder. So cards don't always have to have a sentiment. You know, I, I may go back and add something later, but for now, this is what I have. And here's the inside of the card. I did the same thing um, in the inside of this card. Um, you can see the stamp that I stamped inside there. And so this was so pretty, I decided to do another one so that I can have two in my stash. And basically I just alternated the colors for the bow and for the little, 
you know, that looks like the ribbon there. I'll put a different color there. See, here's the differences. And the inside of the card is the same. And that is my share for you guys for the Christmas all year uh, collaboration, the month of January. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Um, also, hit the like button. You know, help my video. Don't forget to check out the other ladies in this collaboration to see what they've um, created. And make sure you come back in February, the second Sunday in February, and see my second installment for Christmas All Year Collab. And until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye!